Okay, we're ready for the next step. We have the base laid out on the floor with the anchor points pointing downward. We have something securing the base. We have the flanges of the column properly positioned over the back base beam with a bolt on the, this side, uh, with a head on this side, and a smaller of the two flanges is pointing toward where the platform will be. So, now we're ready to attach the hoist assembly to the top. And this is a 1,500 pound hoist assembly, which is quite popular. And then we will raise this to be vertical. So, how do we do this next step? You see this opening goes over the uh, column's top. So what I'm gonna do is tilt this a little bit to get my fingers under it, and then lift it up. and then get it on and slide it down to a nice thump. And then I'm gonna tighten down this 3 16th inch Allen wrench, uh, excuse me, set screw using an Allen wrench. Actually, gravity will be able to do a good job of holding it in place. Next, I'm gonna lift it up vertical, but I'm gonna remember that these cords are gonna flop around and don't want that to become a problem, so be careful with the cords. But we're ready now with the uh, cable ready to go down the front. Once it gets extended, we're ready now to make this upright. So let's do that next. You might need two people for this part if it's a very long uh, column, but this one's short enough for one person at 88 inches. Here we go. It. So the next step will be to get the other bolts in the flanges and tighten them down. And so, that's it.